In order to achieve the best comfort levels and maximize efficiencies, it's important that the heating system meets the application requirements. When designing an infrared system, a proper building survey will help to ensure its optimal performance. Improper equipment selection or layout can result in undesired results. To begin, a formal heat load calculation must be conducted. Factors to include are floor and wall area, windows and doors, and air changes. This will most accurately provide the necessary BTU heat load requirements. Once the total heat load has been calculated, the type of infrared heater that best suits the application and the quantity required to offset the calculated heat load can be determined. As a rule, multiple heaters of lower BTUs are preferred over single, large BTU models. However, heater selection is generally based on the available mounting heights and clearances where the heater will be located. While mounting heights are not mandatory to follow, they are one of the most important factors in the selection process as they are directly correlated to the radiant footprint and overall perceived comfort levels. If infrared heaters are mounted too low or too high, they may result in discomfort or a lack of heat. Another important element to consider is placement. The heater should be placed strategically and focus in the areas of greatest heat loss. With low intensity models, placing the hotter end of the heater in cooler areas of the building also helps achieve better heat distribution. Prior to finalizing heater placement, it's important to ensure that all clearance to combustibles distances will be maintained at all times, paying particular attention to storage areas, overhead doors, and car lift areas. Other related considerations include venting, controls, protective guards, signs, and the utilization of outside combustion air. If it's been determined that a low-intensity heater is appropriate for the application, there are additional design elements to consider. Due to the functionality of a low-intensity tube heater, which utilizes a flame and hot gases to heat the radiant pipe, the infrared energy can be directed to the floor level in a disproportionate amount. This results in a temperature differential, which should be highly considered during the design phase. Low-intensity heaters can be installed either vented or unvented and may bring in outside air for combustion if necessary. They are typically installed in applications where total area heat is required or can be configured to conform to the expectations of the space, providing maximum flexibility in the placement of heaters. When properly designed, tube heaters have proven effective in commercial, industrial, outdoor, agricultural, residential, and spot heat applications. When designing for total building heat, the concern is to replace heat loss with heat input. To accomplish this, it's best to place heaters in the most uniform pattern possible. U-shaped heaters are often the best solution when heating people or when tackling a spot heat application. By design, a U-tube will place the hotter tube directly adjacent to the cooler tube for optimal comfort levels. Proper model selection and good layout practices will result in increased efficiencies and comfort levels. If a high-intensity heater is chosen for the application, a few additional factors should be considered. While the intense heat output of a high-intensity heater may be effective in high ceiling, spot heating, and retrofit applications, it requires adequate mounting heights and increases the clearance to combustibles considerations. As a direct fired appliance, high-intensity heaters cannot be directly vented and require adequate indirect building ventilation. As a result, heating an overall area with infrared heaters is particularly suited for buildings with large air volumes or high rates of air movement where air heating methods are grossly ineffective. For additional information about infrared heater selection, design, or installation, contact Detroit Radiant Products Company. Our representatives are factory trained and can assist with a complete design analysis. Learn more at Reverbere.com.